You know, we talked about CRISPR, yeah. the gene editing technique. You can now order your own CRISPR kits on Amazon <laughs> and do this technology in your kitchen. I kid you not. So I'm going to share some of these with, I mean, this is crazy. Did you ever think this would ever happen in our lifetime that kids can be in their kitchen, like, you know, changing the genetic makeup of things. It's crazy. Okay. So here's the first one. Uh, this is one of them. That's what he wants. It's called a bacterial CRISPR kit. It's $278. And this is the description. Want to really know what this whole CRISPR thing is about? why it could revolutionize genetic engineering. This kit includes everything you need to make precision genome edits in bacteria at home, including Cas9 and then blah, blah, blah. So what they do in this kit is they send you all the supplies you need and you are gonna make a genome mutation in this bacteria. So you're gonna change an amino acid, a lysine to a threonine. And what happens is when you change that amino acid, it changes the structure of the ribosome that's produced in that bacteria. And get this, it prevents the streptomycin antibiotic from binding to the ribosome so that your ribosome can grow on a media, right? This like um, uh, in a Petri dish that has a strep media on it. So basically you just created an antibiotic resistant bacteria. Oh. Yeah, in your kitchen for two hundred seventy-eight dollars. My yeah. goodness yes. me! Okay, we're gonna, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna create some some mad mad uh, mad Anthony's here, mad scientists here. Yes. Okay. So All here's right. another kit that that is being sold. This is a yeast kit. This is literally what it says. Our goal with this kit is to begin to integrate synthetic biology and genetic design into people's everyday life. We see a future in which people are genetically designing the plants they use in their garden, eating yogurt that contains a custom bacterial strain that they modified, or even someday brewing using an engineered yeast strain like that you've actually modified yourself. And then they talk about how um, engineering yeast in your home seems like science fiction, but actually it's now a reality. Using your kit, you can make yeast fluoresce and glow by inserting a gene from jellyfish. This kit comes with everything you need to engineer a mead yeast that we provide, or you can provide your own favorite yeast. Most any yeast you can buy from a store, you can engineer. Like, oh my goodness. And then at the end, it says this yeast and plasmid are being released through a Creative Commons non-commercial license. We encourage you to share it. <laughs> So create it and share it. Okay. And then there's two other, there's a couple others that I was going to mention. This one is actually only $99. You can actually learn to genetically engineer plants using agrobacterium. And this is a big deal because agrobacterium is, it's a plant pathogen that is commonly used in genetic engineering to deliver desired genes into plant cells. So it's a vector for transgenic crops like BT corn and non-browning potato and basically, um, you use this bacteria and it, it can insert its DNA into a plant's genome. Okay. So using this kit, it, it allows you to engineer the leaves of a tobacco plant and turn them red. So do you remember in school, I don't know if you did this, Joel, in school, but we had white carnations and you would stick it in a jar with food dye and it would turn the petals red, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was all about... Um uh what's it called the you know where they where the it's uh where they suck up you know where the plant well you did you did uh celery too celery would do yes. it yes yeah uh, like osmosis yep yeah, yeah 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 so that's how we turned plant leaves and stuff red and now you can actually get this in your kitchen and you can engineer it to make its leaves turn red like that's that is just crazy and and for only 99 dollars Okay, then there's this one. This one's only $40. This one you can buy on Amazon. This kit teaches you how to insert a jellyfish gene into bacteria so that the bacteria glow green when you shine a light on them. All right, $99, Joel. And then here's another one. This is $165 on Amazon. You're using CRISPR 
to improve crops, food crops. So it says students will assume the role of a plant geneticist working to develop to develop corn crops that are capable of surviving and thriving in changing environment. It's going to allow you to understand CRISPR-Cas9 applications, cleave DNA, and examine the results. Like so, that's food. It's <laughs> wow. So so wow. Joel, you can imagine my dilemma when my sixteen-year-old son comes to me and says, "This is what I want for Christmas." Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I want to foster your passion, but oh my goodness. Like, and how do you dispose of these things once you've created like this strep resistant bacteria? Yeah. What are you doing with that? I, I'm sure a lot of people just throw it in the trash. Like, mm -hmm. right. I mean, so one thing, one thing this tells me is um, if this is true and, and all these kits deliver on these promise, it tells me, okay, this is how easy it is to engineer something on one hand, and on the other hand, this is a good lesson to teach children about there has to be, has to be unintended consequences. If it's that easy to do this in your kitchen, mm. what are you actually changing in their genome, right? I don't think you can be so precise that you're changing one amino acid only in your kitchen. Yeah, wow. Right, did I shock you with this one? <laughs> yeah, you shocked me. That's, You're like, I was speechless. You, you, you know, I, you know, I'm not, I'm in my little silo here. I don't get on Amazon or anything. Uh, Teresa and I did, we were on Amazon uh, uh, last week, actually. She helped me try to find uh, chainsaw files and, um, and we couldn't find the ones that I wanted. So uh, she's been working on it. And I think we finally found the ones I wanted, not from Amazon, but from a local, uh, local tractor supply dealer. Uh, so that, that chainsaw files is about as far as I go on Amazon, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, so I don't search. That's unbelievable. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to get one just to see if it really does. I mean, I'm assuming they work. I, I'm assuming it must work or to some extent, I mean, cause it's, and it's not just Amazon. I mean, there are companies that this is what they do. They sell these kits. So you don't have to go to Amazon to get them, but I mean, yeah, so I've grappled with this a lot and I, I discussed it with Donnie. Cause I was like, well, he's really, he's really into microbiology is what yeah. it is. And you know, I've, it's really my fault because, <laughs> because I, you know, I've taught him chemistry and now micro microbiology and genetics and stuff. And so he loves these things and I, I don't want to stop him from doing it, but I was like, you know what? Okay. Maybe we'll get you one and I'll do it with you. And we're going to, I'm going to teach him the safety practices as though you're in a lab. Like this is how you handle a sample like this. And this is how you dispose of it. And, and just the whole pros and cons of, of all of it. So that maybe maybe it will, it will really ring true, like I said, that um, this is not as precise as they're saying, because you can literally mix this in your kitchen. It'll be interesting to see what the directions, what yeah. the directions in the kits say about, um, you know, about biosecurity, biosafety, you know, w within the within the process. Uh, yeah, it brings up. Friends, want to dive deeper into our thought-provoking conversations? Become part of the Beyond Labels family today by joining below. For any gift amount, you'll get access to the full, uncut episodes. Every contribution, whether big or small, keeps this podcast going. So join us and expand your Beyond Labels experience. Thank you.